So here's the way it looks on Future Tracker. The rest of tonight, of course, cold temperatures as we approach 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning. Rich Morgan will be in here tracking these snow showers on through and 27 First News. And it looks like a steady snow for a while here, and just in time for your drive time tomorrow morning. So I'm not looking for a lot of snow, but this fluffy snow will, will add up to a, a trace to up to an inch or two in some isolated spots, enough to create slippery travel uh, during the morning hours. Then watch what happens after we get about eight or nine o'clock. The bottom edge just keeps lifting its way northward really fast as we go into 10 and 11 o'clock, and that'll open up the gates for that warmer air to start pushing in on into the afternoon and uh, into tomorrow evening. In fact, we're going to stay fairly mild uh, throughout the week. Weekend. Now, the problem is with the warmer temperatures, we'll start mixing the chance of rain showers and even a little freezing rain in uh, with the forecast. And that would include into your Saturday morning a chance of rain or snow showers or some pockets of freezing rain. And then as we work our way through the day, notice how the areas just split snow to the north, rain to the south here. And that is going to be the case on and off through the weekend as this boundary wiggles back and forth uh, here at home. I'm not looking for a lot of snow over the weekend, but a slushy accumulation a light slushy accumulation a possibility. Eight cold degrees tonight, around an inch or less by sunrise. A trace to two inches possible quickly tomorrow morning. Again, not heavy snow, but enough to cause tricky travel. Uh, temperatures do get above freezing by tomorrow afternoon. Here's your next seven days with those warmer temperatures. Again, that wintry mix potential is there through the weekend. And that includes your Saturday morning, a chance of a rain or a snow shower Saturday, Saturday night, even into Sunday and Sunday night. Uh, that'll move out of here by Monday. We'll dry out and start warming things up even more so as we go into Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday morning could have one of those wintry mix type events going on as well. Going to watch and see how that plays out. Uh, but back to 40 next Wednesday and Thursday. 